Yo, 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 what is going on YouTube? Playing some Finrare today. We got a purple border chalk, no way, no way. This is like my fourth or fifth try. Actually, wait, maybe it's like my third or fourth try getting a Finrare recording. And like, I don't know. I don't know, maybe I'm just too strict about the, like maybe I just really want a good Finrare game. But like the games have just been super boring, man. Like I'm either against like a Bacchus or I'm against a Loki that has a billion stars, which I mean, I think some of you guys like to see me, you know, beat up on a Loki with a lot of stars, but you guys don't understand, okay? This Loki died like seven times in like 11 minutes, okay? Like it, it was not, <laughs> it was not a good game, I don't think. Um, question is, what relic am I going? I think Shell's always just like the safe bet, right? Do I want my three? At level three, anyways. Do I want it? Hmm. Like, sometimes I genuinely feel like just putting double points into the two or double points into the one and then grouping up the minions and trying to clear that way is better than the three. But maybe I'm wrong, honestly. Maybe... Maybe the three is really good. Is he over here? Oh, he's on my blue. Okay. All right, we'll get our three then. He is invading my blue. What a guy. What a guy. I never understood, like, did, did some, like, YouTuber or something start that meta of invading blue? Or are these people just, just take it upon themselves to invade blue for no apparent reason? Wing shard, wing shard. Oh, lag. I mean, that was clear. That was clearly lag. I mean... I don't even have to explain that to you guys, it's obvious. You guys can see my ping, I mean. Would I have killed him if I didn't cancel that? Or if I landed that? I don't know. Maybe. I'm just gonna brutalize him and the wave, why not? Huh. Oh. Oh. No. Problem is... I don't have a blue buff, so... Trying to make him think I'm on this. Oh, no. Give me the minion. I need level 5. I don't even get this, man. No! I think if my auto hit the big one, it would have killed it. But my auto... My auto came before his 3, actually, but it hit the, um... Ooh, run, run. But it hit the other guy. It hit the small guy. And killed the small guy. I definitely could have played this early game better, but I'll be if we're gonna be completely honest here I'm not upset that I haven't killed him yet because based on the way my recordings are going. It's impossible to get a freaking game, man If I don't snowball my brains out it wasn't on purpose. I wanted to kill him, but I mean I'm, I'm not upset that I haven't killed him yet. Maybe this will be a good game I am upset I didn't get that blue though. I feel like I worked so hard for that we back. I could get my. I could level up my three. Cause the only way he can get out of my three is if he teleports, right? Or he ults. That would uh, make him take a little bit less damage and then cancel it. Hmm. I think there's an argument to be made to level any of these abilities right now. I'm just gonna stick to my guns. Maybe the brutalize is the way to go. I'm gonna stick to my guns. I'm gonna level the the one up to level three, and then I'm gonna start putting points into my two. That's what I'm gonna do. One up to level three, just for a bit more wave clear and whatnot. A bit more burst damage at the start of the fight. And then I'm gonna start getting some life steal going. Oh. Wing shard? Sharding? We're sharding? Oh no, dude. Oh! Don't die! Lifesteal! Lifesteal! Oh my god! Holy smokes. I'll be honest, dude. Like, <laughs> him teleporting away. No, that's a chalk classic, right? So I should expect that. But for some reason, I was not expecting him to TP away at all. I thought we were committing to that fight, slash... Maybe I, maybe in my head, I thought that he already used the, the TP. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going through my head. All I know is that he definitely almost got away, and I almost died. Because I let him TP, and I uh, played it the way I did. Oh, no. Get off of this. You fool! There is no escape. 
See, if I had more points in my Brutalize right there, they would have smoked him. And like I said, maybe I'm misplaying by not leveling my three, honestly. But what I do know is I don't have to level my three to win this. Maybe it's better, but I don't have to do it, so. Whatever. I was hoping to stop his back with that. Make him stop his back, because he would be scared. And also clear the wave at the same time, but no dice. No dice. I'm excited that we're against another Master Spoiler player, though. The clickbait. Is it, is it even clickbait, though? Is it even clickbait if it's the truth? What even defines clickbait, dude? Hello. Dude, I do so much damage. Look at this. Oh. Okay. No, I missed. I missed! Uh. Okay, I'm kind of scared, not gonna lie. Also, I don't know why I say not gonna lie so much. Do I just always lie to you guys? Maybe everything I say, if I don't say I'm not gonna lie, that must mean that everything else I say is a lie then. That's the only logical explanation here. Look at the sheen on that thing. All right, we're gonna have so much cooldown now. Like we're gonna be like a new man because we got 20% from this breastplate. We're gonna get 10% from the transcendence once we clear one more wave, and more cooldown equals more stuns equals more life steal from our two. So I'm gonna feel like a new man. One more. All right. 30% cooldown. We landed that jump. We landed a jump. Let's go. We definitely want to force fights a bit when he doesn't have breastplate. I just don't want him to back because the, the red is spawning and he doesn't have breastplate. I don't think me getting poked out means anything, considering I can heal it back up. Maybe kill this guy, honestly. Okay, I'm too much of a pansy, dude. I've already made too many dumb plays this game. I'm too much of a pansy. Oh wait, he has beads. Oh my god, I'm such a pansy, dude. I, I was assuming I was gonna get shell baited, but he has beads. <laughs> Let's him. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna get the second relic yet. Yeah, no, that's definitely a misplay as well. I feel like I'm so hard on myself, huh? Like, I, I feel like, I mean, I know I'm hard on myself, but I, I'm just realizing like in these videos, cause I don't realize I do it on stream, because I don't, like, explain everything so much on stream. Uh, but, like, when I do these recordings, I realize that, like, I win most of them, right? So, therefore, I have to be doing something, right? I have to be doing something good. But I never say I make good plays. I only point out my misplays. Oh. I just realize, like, I'm a, I'm a bully to myself. Who does that? Who just bullies himself? That's messed up. Oh, no. Oh no. No! Okay. Okay, run. I should have already been dead. Oh my god! Okay, 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 okay. So anyways, as I was saying, uh, so the misplay there was just basically everything. <laughs> Basically everything that you just witnessed before you. I don't know if I should go Aussie or Exe here. Aussie makes me invincible. Exe makes me do a... Yeah, well, I'd rather be invincible. Yeah, I'd rather be invincible. Why not? Alright, you know what? I've been too hard on myself. I've been misplaying too much already this game. We're kicking into over here. Starting now. Starting now. Good plays only. Never missing a jump. Never missing a brutal lines. Never dying. Starting now. Unless I misplay. In which case we would restart the timer, obviously. I mean. 
Obviously. You gonna TP? Nope. I wanna poke him. And I'm barely taking damage from this tower because I'm life stealing. Like, I'm taking a, a decent little chunk of damage, you know, but I'm life stealing so much that it doesn't matter. Look at me! I'm doing it, guys. Oh no. I don't want to die. Right, if I took one more shot, I would die. Life steal. Ugh. All right, we did it, guys. I told you. I told you we could play good. I mean, I almost threw that kill again because <laughs> I thought he would have died off that first auto, but we didn't. We did it. We landed our stuff. We played well. I'm so proud of myself, honestly. Good job, me. I feel like I'm in the middle of a therapy session right now. Like, just imagine me. I'm literally in my room by myself, recording, talking to no one but my monitor. Anyway, I feel like we're just, we're getting all of our feelings out, you know? The self-reflection in this video. He went sunder? Feel the thunder, thunder. Um... Yeah, we got to get some penetration, and we're going to get a horrific emblem. This is one of the reasons why I wait to buy my second relic so often. is because either I don't want to have a random relic. Oh. Easy. It's because I don't want to have a random relic, and then like, like a sunder. I don't want to be this guy, and then get horrific. Also, I don't want to buy my horrific early, and then them go sprint for it, you know? So it's like, sometimes I wait to get my relic because I want horrific, sometimes it's because I don't want to get horrific, sometimes it's both, but it usually has something to do with horrific emblem. And so that's why, I, like, if the, your opponent is holding their relic, I mean, I can't promise you that they're going to buy horrific by any means, but if they're holding their relic, and I would recommend you definitely thinking it through before you just randomly buy one, because they might be holding it just to make sure you don't have a sprint or something and then horrific you. Which is obviously not going to be a good time. A lot of matchups, I would say, honestly, are are very well can be entirely dictated just off of horrific emblem. That's how good it is. So Dude, we're annihilating this thing. Holy. Or what is that noise? Alright, I'm not gonna chase you around. Oh, wait, he's coming to me. What if I just, like, picked him up during this whole, like, rainstorm thing? Well, he ult this. He did ult that. Alright, he's kind of just wasting my time. Don't let people do this to you guys, by the way. If your goal is to be, like, a really good player and have a high win rate and you don't care how you do it, don't let people do this to you. He's trying to distract me right now. He doesn't want to full commit to fights. He just wants me to think that he's committing. And then he's going to run away. And then he's going to make me think he's committing again. And then run away. <clears throat> and keep doing that until I have no time to get the Phoenix. It's a smart play. I'm just saying you guys shouldn't fall for it. You're not considered a PvE or you're not a scumbag for going for the Phoenix. Just because, like, you're not a... What I'm trying to say is you're not a scumbag just for not chasing someone around 24-7. If they're not going to fight you, then you do what you want to do. Did he finish this? No. I'm going to brutalize him because it'll hit the minion wave as well. I do have a decent amount of gold in hand here. Ah, that's his beads. No. Can't kill him. Probably for the better, to be honest. I don't want to end. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. One more fight. Let me at him. Let me at him. <laughs> now, I could go oboe here and end the game, like, super, super easily. Like, I would literally just front door, use my transcendence power, it would bounce back and forth between the Titan and Chalk, and it would kill it instantly. And that's what I would recommend you do if you were in this position, by the way, guys. That's what I would recommend you do. But, me personally, <laughs> I'm gonna go crit, because it's more fun to do, 
it's more fun for the video and also i don't really want to end in one millisecond like my goal isn't to end as fast as possible i want to win this game and i don't want to troll for 40 minutes obviously but i don't want to make it a, a five second video either you guys would be very surprised if i'm like maximum tryharding you'd be very surprised how hard it is to get a, a decent video a lot of these people do not know how to deal with someone like not PvEing, but playing the map how you're supposed to, you know? Playing correctly. If you play correct, people do, just do not know what to do against it. They really just don't. So it's really hard to get a, a video that's not like five seconds long. Oh, hello. We're critically striking! We're critically striking! We ulted his ult. Crazy. All right, one more fight. Well, for the sake of the video, we'll give him one more fight. We'll be a nice guy, and we will be ending after one more fight. You get one freebie, Chuck, and that's it. Oh, he realized that I have so much healing that he's going the he's going anti heal, or he skipped his item and he's going anti heal. Oh my god, I just realized he went double defense. That's why it's so hard to kill him. He's lowering my attack speed with his brain and then going double defense. Yeah. Alright, you get one freebie, Chuck. And you're going down. You, you, you receive no more mercy. What is that noise? Has that always been there when you kill Bull Demon? I feel like that's new. Like, what is that? Am I crazy? Where, where are you going? You have to defend your titan. You can't just run. Like, this is what I mean. I don't understand the players. Le legitimately, I don't understand. Like, you have to defend. You cannot just run past me. I will kill your titan. Can I buy my item yet? I can. Nice. Alright. You're going down, Chuck. He has beads, yeah. Oh, kind of beating me up a little bit. Holy. No. Too many crits, by the way. As you can see, we have 70% crit. 70%. Now, it's not going to be 70 without the procs from the item. It's only 40. But once all you, all you have to do is auto attack as a melee. Most of the boomerang will just kind of drop at your feet. They'll mostly just drop at your feet and you'll end up with 70% crit chance with two items. Sounds pretty OP, doesn't it? Especially considering this has pen attack speed, this has good stats. Like, the, the pen's on the uh, the proc, the, the passive proc here. But these two items right now, I think, are just the best crit combo. Maybe you go Boomerang Deathbringer. Maybe that could be better. You know, who knows? But nonetheless, Master's Border Chalk. Pretty uh, pretty easy game overall, I'd say, because Finner is kind of cracked. There's not really much he could do. He certainly made quite a few um, misplays that game. Definitely, but I, I I am gonna just tell you guys straight up. I don't see a way that Chalk could possibly win this game, even if he played perfectly. Although I will say a giant flaw was these relics. He should not be going these relics, and I don't know about double defense either. But that being said, I don't see even if he plays perfectly. I just don't see how he wins this matchup. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy watching the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.